Hello YouTube, it is Pyromania321 with the second video of the batch programming series and today I'm going to show you guys how to make an open EXE platform. Um, I came up with this idea because um, usually I make EXEs for my computer um, because it's a lot more discreet when I run them in hidden mode or just make it more published but the bad part about EXEs is you can't exactly edit them so what I would have to do is go back to the main batch file um, and edit that, then recompile it into a ex into an exe. Oops, that was my little program telling me I have internet. That one was run off exe, as you can see. But um, so I would have to like recompile in order to make any changes, and that would be a bad thing because um, it would take up a lot of time. So I came up with an idea on how it would be possible to make a program where it would use two files, one would be an exe and one would be a batch program. Now the thing is you make edits in the batch program and the exe carries them out every time no matter what the thing is. So now we're going to make the exe, it's going to start out as a batch file. So just type in call and let's call the file that we're going to read, um, or no, let's call it program.bat. That was the entire exe, but we're going to save it as Let's see, test exe.bat, save. So now we have test exe here, and now we want to turn that into an actual exe. So I open up my little exe device, and I'm going to make an invisible application. Um, or should I make it visible? I don't know, I'll figure that out later. So right now I just compile this, go to desktop, and test exe and it will spit it out as text.exe.exe and version information, I'm not going to add an icon and so now we have visible or invisible, huh, that's a good question well if I'm going to demonstrate some stuff to you um, you know what, I'm going to make it invisible and figure out something to demonstrate so it's going to be invisible and there's a little compile button down here so we're going to press compile and it compiles and it should be finished, wow that was pretty fast, wouldn't you say? so now we have test.exe in exe form, but if we run it, nothing happens. And we can even check task manager, and there should be something that says there should be two files one that says cmd.exe and one that says test.exe.exe. So that's not working, and if we view here, we need a program called program.bat. So now let's make uh, program.bat. So we're going to say at uh, echo off start. Uh, no, no, we're going to say, let's see, test kill slash imcmd.exe, and that's going to close down any of that, and it's going to open up start notepad, and that should be it, and let's call it program.exe because that's what we called the last one, so just checking to make sure. Oh, whoops. Ugh, that's a bad thing. Oh, right, don't worry. Uh, see. Desktop. Don't worry, we can just change that, so let's see. Ren program.exe program.bat exit. Okay, so there, see? I finished our thingy. Now it's editable again. And so we have this here. And this program here, test.exe, is going to run this, but behind the scenes. So we're, I'm going to open up CMD. And so I have CMD open here. And um, when I press this, it's going to close CMD and open Notepad. So we open that. And you, I'm sure you saw how um, Notepad closed in the background, because if I close this, it's not there anymore, and I didn't just minimize it. Um, but say we want to do something a little more. So what we're going to do is, um, let's say we're going to not do that. Uh, we're not going to test kill that. Uh, we're just going to write exit at the end, and we're going to start... See what should we do? Um, let's see. I'm just going to open up. No, I can't. 
uh, okay, I'm going to type this. This is a 1.06 gigabyte uh, text file just filled with nothing but random numbers. So what I'm actually going to do is make this... Oh, no, I can't do that either because you won't be able to see. So I'm going to make it just start command prompt uh, four times, so that looks like enough. And the cool part about this is, is um, nobody can see the background. See how four command prompts opened up near instantaneous? So yeah, there's one good thing, and I can make it do whatever. So now I have an executable that not only runs in the background, but is editable. So that, that's, a good, um, that's a good function. So I, I can make this pretty much do anything. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching.